Today I'm gonna show you guys our new bedroom because for the past like how long have we been here? Uh, four Since months? May. Since May, whatever that math is. We've been sleeping in the guest room, which is down that way. There's a lot of boxes. We gotta clean up the house. We're moving still. <laughs> still, even since May. So, we finally got our bedroom furniture for the master, so I'm gonna turn it around and show you guys. We slept in it for the first time last night, which I have to admit was very weird, because once you're used to sleeping in one room, sleeping in another one is so strange, but I'm sure I'll get used to it soon. But, ready for the reveal? Dun 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 There we go. <laughs> So obviously we need to add so much like decor and picture frames and like a lot of things But we got like the main bed. It's like that like seafoam color. Um, we got a Winnie. She has her bed right here I'm probably gonna get a bed that's like the seafoam color so it matches better. We got our two side tables This is gonna be Ty's dresser. This is gonna be my dresser We still have to put like a mirror up there, but we have like the basics the essentials Are you in the closet Ty? Sight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is what it looks like so far. It's very spacious. I love how you can see the nice fall leaves out there. You guys probably can't really on camera. The ceilings are really cool. They kind of like lift up like that. And uh, Winnie's been enjoying it. Yes, your father is in the closet, Winnie. She senses you, Ty. I'm not surprised. So I want to show you guys something weird that the house was designed. It's kind of like a flaw. So when you close the doors, When you close the door, sorry Winnie, you can still see into the bedroom. Winnie, okay, do you wanna come out here or in there? <laughs> when you close the doors, you can still see Ty's face. See, you can see the bed. So if there's any sneaky eyes, they'll still see into our bedroom. You wanna go back in? I'm just trying to show them. Can you open the door? Hello? Oh. <laughs> so when we have kids or like guests over, it's a little weird how they can literally see through a peephole, but anyway. It's an easy fix. All you have it to is do an easy is fix. Just run a line that kind of overlaps between the two. You yeah. just put it on one door. And then so I'm going to close this again because I have a story to tell you guys and I want to sort of demonstrate what happened to me. And it's probably going to sound so weird. And unless like you experienced it, it's so hard to explain. So I was sleeping right here. I'll even get on the bed to show you. This was me last night. And for the past like three days, I would say, I've had like insomnia. I haven't been able to sleep. And it's been so weird because usually, and Ty knows this, the second I get into bed, and go to sleep. I'm asleep within three minutes. I sleep so fast. See, three minutes is an understatement. Like 30 seconds, I'm Her able to sleep. Hello, and she starts snoring. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Sorry if it's so echoey in here. We need more furniture and stuff on the walls. Um, there's also a carpet that we're hoping to put kind of right yeah, there. Yeah, there's a lot to do. Anyway, the past three nights, I haven't been sleeping very well. And then we moved into this room, which I don't think really helped my case because when I'm in a weird space, I just can't sleep very well. I was trying to sleep last night. I was snoring away. I would say around two or three in the morning. It's always three in the morning. I don't know why. I'm finally starting to fall asleep a little bit. I turn to my side to face this wall and suddenly I hear this knocking on those doors over there. Like really loud. They like go and demonstrate, Ty. The sound of knocking on the doors. <laughs> you don't have to- dramatic. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. Obviously, I instantly sit up. My heart is pounding. You know when you wake up from a bad dream or you hear something and your heart is pounding? It's the most uncomfortable feeling ever. So I sit up and I look at the doors over there and I start to see them slowly open. Ty's gonna demonstrate. And imagine Ty is not there and it's just darkness of the hallway. And they're slowly, <laughs> they're slowly opening. So I'm sitting in bed. And I'm looking out into the dark hallway and I'm like, that did not just happen. Like this could not be real. So I'm shaking my head around. I'm like knocking myself in the head, trying to like, am I dreaming? Is this sleep paralysis? What's going on? And I'm looking, they're wide open like that. And I watch them slowly open. And I'm just looking into the darkness of the other room and the hallway. So I turn to Ty and I'm about to wake him up to be like, Ty, the doors just slowly opened. But then I was like, Jess, 
That couldn't have just happened. So I got up, I went to the bathroom, I peed, and when I came out, I looked and the doors were closed. So I was like, clearly I was in some sort of dream state or like hallucinating because I hadn't slept in a few days. And when I went to the washroom and came back, everything was back to normal. And it was the weirdest thing. I can't even explain. It probably sounds crazy, but it was so weird. It was so weird, especially the knocking before it happened. I don't know guys, I don't know, I don't know. At least they were courteous. At least they were courteous. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I would just rather that not happen. Yeah. But she's like jamming her head as hard as she can in between the bed and my leg. Yeah. She's probably so confused because there was no furniture in here up until like a couple weeks ago. So it's a little weird for her. Anyways, though, we're going to get going. We have to go on a little drive to Mississauga to get some stuff done. So we're going to go there and um, we'll see you when we get back. Okay. Bye. I don't know why we're saying bye. Like you're gonna see us in two seconds anyway. <laughs> All right, so it's a little later now and we just made some shepherd's pie. By we, I mean Thai made shepherd's pie. <laughs> And by shepherd's so, pie, we mean not shepherd's pie. There's no lamb in it, so it doesn't count. It's just beef, I think. It's beef. So we're gonna see how it looks. We used our skillet. Ooh, it's sizzling. That's it's sizzling. It smells very good. I'm gonna follow you over here so we can see it up close. On a very dirty stove top. The beauty. That was good. It's uh, cheesy mashed potatoes and some beans. You know shepherd's pie. There's no beans in it. Uh, peas, <laughs> I meant peas. I was thinking peas. peas. Celery, carrots, onion, mashed potatoes, beef, garlic, a little bit of parsley. Is shepherd's pie a common thing? I would think so. Or is it like a Canadian European thing? I have no idea. <laughs> No idea. What it is is good. It's very, very good. We have to add the final ingredient. Decoration. Beauty. Beautiful. Very nice. Very good. I don't know what that accent is, but. You're trying it. I least. sound like a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. Hey guys, it is the next day now. I'm sitting on the floor with the ween. Yes, I, I appreciate that, thank you. We're heading out today to go run a few more errands. Gotta go back to the old house, pick up a few more things and do the final preparations before the move is complete. You just burped right in my face, didn't you? But yeah, we're just getting ready for that now. So we just wanted to close the vlog for you guys and we hope you guys have a... Why, why are you looking at me? We just wanted to wish you guys a good day and we hope to see you in the next vlog. See you guys.